Hello and thanks for joining us. We begin this half hour in Abuja where the International Federation of Women Lawyers is calling on the federal government to incorporate the diversity of women and girls in policy formulation and implementation. This call was made in commemoration of the International Women's Day and Celestine Area reports. The campaign team for the International Women's Day 2021 is chose to challenge. It prompts women to be responsible for their thoughts and actions every day and thereby challenging the world they live in. In the year 1908, 15,000 women took to the streets of New York to protest against work exploitation and demanded for shorter hours, better pay and voting rights. It became a movement which forced changes around the world. This also invariably affected the call for women's rights in Nigeria, as in the year 1929, the About Women's Riot saw over 10,000 women on the streets of Calabar, Noweri, protesting against policies imposed by the British colonial administration. The COVID-19 pandemic had had a devastating impact on humanity. Apart from the health implications, it has led to a socio-economic downturn with a disproportionate impact on women. The pandemic exacerbated poverty, gender inequality, the violation of women's rights recorded all over the world in the form of rape, harmful workplace, as well as domestic violence which increased the vulnerability of women as many in the informal sector were out of jobs during the lockdown periods. The pandemic must also increase the number of women in unpaid jobs as caregivers to seek and elderly members of their household. Today, the International Federation of Women Lawyers in Nigeria is advocating equal access of men and women to power, decision-making and leadership at all levels. It believes this is a necessary precondition for the proper function of any democracy. FIDA Nigeria sadly notes that violence against women is still rising with cases of sexual violence of women and girls and domestic violence toppling the list. FIDA states that effective participation of women in decision-making Elimination of violence against women and girls and the empowerment of women must be priorities for all. Our government needs to um, strengthen the security um, agencies, apparatus in our country more to um, cop the um, surge in this area of crime. Um, for example, our schools um, need more security um, technique. Women and girls are actually targeted. Why? Because they meet the needs of the men. So these bandits, they need people to cook for them. They need to meet their, their, their sexual and physiological needs and all of that. Because you would recall that when they took the Chibok girls, by the time they were released, a lot of them were clutching babies. And that's so unfortunate, you know. Ngozi is fortunate, but we have so many other Ngozis. That is why we are challenging. Give us that opportunity. We have the right. Equal opportunities. You know, the society is evolving. We cannot be stagnant where we are in Nigeria. Article 21 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights embraces the right of every person to take part in leadership in his or our country. Celestina area, TVC News, Abuja.